Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Ziggin. So, if you're new to this channel, we'll summarize this real quick. So, for other channels, they might put video or put subtitles or put sound, but I've tried that in the past multiple times. I always get a strike and then have to wait 90 days to get rid of the strike. Um, I almost got terminated a few times in the past from trying that. So for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing this way. So if you don't like the way I do it, just go to a different channel. Don't dislike this video because that's why I see a lot of people will be like, I'll oh, just delete your channel. Oh, you're doing it this way, delete your channel and dislike the video and leave. Uh, this is how we've been doing it for the last two years. Uh, so the way we do it is up in the corner here is a timer. Uh, I will put three seconds on the timer if the video is 15 minutes or longer, about 10, 15 minutes or longer. If the video is uh, less uh, minutes than that, I put two seconds on the timer. But basically, I will start my video at zero seconds. I will do a three second countdown. When my video hits, so like three, two, one. And then when my video hits three seconds, I hit continue. And about that's my timer will be linked up with the same amount of seconds as the video. So if you want to watch with me, just put the timer through, put your video to three seconds. When I get to zero, just hit play and you're good to go. You're watching the video about the same time I am. Uh, like I said, if you guys don't like this, go to a different channel. This will be at the start of every anime, television, a TV show or movie episode reaction and review. I do the full time, so if you want to watch it fully with me, that's how we do it. Also, uh, if you want, if you've seen this intro before, you can skip past it because down below here, it's going to be split up from intro to where we start the video. I usually give it about five, ten seconds before we start the video, and then after the video, I do the review. I usually section it off on that, or if we do four, if, uh, we do more than two episodes or three episodes, we'll be sectioned off with each episode reaction um and then at the end we do the review for all of them otherwise that's how we do it here like i said if you don't like it just go off go to a different channel but this is how we're probably going to do this for the foreseeable future otherwise thank you for sticking uh to the whole thing if you're new to this channel otherwise uh let's jump into it whatever this video might be and hopefully you guys do enjoy hello youtube this is miss chris again uh i will be covering Episode 8 of Season 4 of Demon Slayer. Almost said Dr. Stone. Uh, this is the final episode. It's like an hour long. Uh, I am drinking alcohol on the side. Um, maybe I'll get through a glass by the end of this. I don't know. I don't know how fucking whack this is going to be. Um, this could be chaos. What are you doing? You okay. Oh, uh, well, let me put three seconds on the clock. I have everything prepared. What I've been doing is using a VPN while doing stuff over here for certain things. Because I've been having problems loading certain things. Uh, but we're going to be jumping into episode eight of Demon Slayer season four. Apparently, it's not an hour long, it's 40 minutes long. Still. That's still somewhat decent. I'm guessing it would be an hour long if you watched it on TV with all commercial breaks. Or closer to an hour long. Uh, because the... Uh, it wasn't like that with... Uh, it wasn't like that with the last episode either. It wasn't uh, It wasn't 45 minutes. It was like 30-something minutes. But I'm guessing with ads and stuff, it probably is closer to that time. Uh, but we are jumping into episode 8 of Demon Slayer Season 4. The last thing we left off was Muzim walking up to... Uh, I can't think of his name. The 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 guy that is also part of Muzin's family. They're like cousins. Yeah, whatever his name is. He's right there, Deacon. Yeah, I also have him written down. That's the thing. You don't have to turn a page. He's literally on the first row. One from the left. Very bottom. Yeah, uh, Ubayashi. Ubayashi key. Whatever. Um, the him lying down and then welcoming him moves in. 
my hope is at the end of last episode before that, um Senami destroyed one of the demon eyes that have been per- patrolling the area. So and he knows that they've been infiltrated. My guess would be he would go to that and defend against Muzin. I don't know how you defend against Muzin because Muzin is a force I don't even know how you classify at this point. Um, you still have three uppers and you have all the demons that been hiding because Muzin's been gathering them all. Plus you have the girl with the banjo. It's not a banjo, but I can't think of the instrument name. Um, but yeah, you have her too, so... This is just going to be uh, just all messed up. Oh, you also had Zenitsu at the end of the episode getting a letter to something that has changed him. My only guess is it's either the master, a letter from his former master. The master could be dead because that could push him. Because the master was the only thing that could really push him. His lightning Hashra, former lightning Hashra. Uh, other than that, let's jump in. I think this has loaded about 30 seconds, so we should be good. Uh, episode 8 of Season 4 of Demon Slayer in 3, 2, 1. More than likely, I will pour myself in the alcoholic drink. I thought you were going to just talk about alcohol. I'll pour myself another alcohol. Three rounds of alcohols. I'm drinking some type of Admiral whiskey, uh, Admiral rum plus Coke. Actually, Pepsi, I think, not Coke. It's his slow walk again. So I think I said it in the last part, or I might have not. Um, at the next, the, the only two options. The next season, uh, the next season, there's not gonna be a season. There's gonna be three movies back to back to back of the final for the rest of the anime. Other than that. Here's the thing. The fucking... Uh... Ubu Yash... Uh, uh, Ubu Uh, I thought he was gonna die by the end of the series. It, that was the... Assumption that he would die. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does die here. Ugh. My cord definitely reaches if I need to grab something from Cross. Ugh. Yashiki. Do we pick up right here or are we going somewhere else? Final episode, the Hashra unit. Funny part is, you do have the Hashra nearby. The, all the Hashra were training, so they're not far away at least.
thousand years. Insane. Yeah, he's going to come sooner or later. It was a shock to see him this earlier on, but... Of the clan that for a thousand years. I wouldn't doubt it. How did he live this long then? Yeah. Damn. So I'm guessing concentration breathing something like that keeping them alive No, he's, there's no way you could probably get Muzan emotional at this point. Huh. Determination to kill that demon? Maybe? He's stolen, if anything. Yeah, but your judgment is soon coming.
should be probably walking the sun. Is this real or something that's going on with only his imagination slash brain? It's neat, the song. I'm curious. I wonder how the dub does it. Dubbed is so far behind, though. There's more children. Please, please have some fucking Hashra show up. You think enough time has passed. Who lights the candles? That's a lot of candles to light. Unless it's just ever burning candles. This is so weird. The time is slowing. The balls remind me of that demon season one. That went after uh, Tandro and Nesico, or they end up at the doctor's house. The tiger will eventually kill him, too. I can't wait to see some of these in action.
I can't believe Muzin's letting him talk this much. I would have figured Muzin would have already cut him out, up. Maybe because he's nothing, if not a corpse right now. <laughs> oh. oh. Is that correct? The Trojan's gone. Do the Hashra know where he's staying? I would figure so. Because I was thinking maybe. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised he did listen that long. About half this episode has just been talking between the two. Oh. They're not going to get there in time. If they get in there, it's going to be right when the master dies. The master has changed the lives of these nine, or these bunch. <laughs> so it would make sense that it would be. We saw that over the seasons. It fucking. <sighs> Him slowly changing the lives of them. Oh, so this is days ago. I don't think they're making it time. I really don't. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's hell, one hell of attack. I really just thought it would be beheaded, not the burning and destruction of the entire mansion. Holy shit. Why is that game? It's like fucking tear down. It's like he laid C4s all throughout the building. <sighs> Wonder if it pisses him off more that there's no fear in that. Holy shit. Oh, that's gonna fuck them.
Yeah, all of them. Whoa. That's Muzin. He'd be still alive because his head is not gone. Who's close by? Because there, there is gonna be some piss off Ashra. I haven't drank this much in a while. Yeah, I kind of figured that would piss him off the most. Is that expression on Ubayashi's face? Oh, he was the one to do that? Oh my god. I really thought I was moosing. That's some fucking incredible work. <clears throat> yeah, there's no doubt. How many years has he been planning? He did. Now everyone knows you're here. He had time. What the fuck is this? Flesh seeds? Holy shit! This has to be from the doctor, right? It has to be from the doctors. Because the doctor wanted to work with... Or while well, Ubu Yashi wanted to work with the doctor, so it makes sense. Not if it's part of your power, too. The doctor's been working with your blood. Holy shit! She's here! That makes sense. She's been using on the fucking cat all this time. Why wouldn't it work on someone else? I never expected that either. I would have never fucking guessed that it would work on a person. But it makes sense if it worked on the cat. No fucking way. Even if it does turn him back human, he's still gonna be a pain in the ass to kill. Does this make him moral enough? Like, connect, disconnect him from that...
wish to live forever, you will see the downfall of men. Or you'll die. Holy shit. It makes sense you'd be here. Holy fuck. Oh my fucking god. It makes sense that he'd be she'd be working with multiple, but fucking stealth him too. I'm guessing he's not dead. But if I didn't know there's three movies, I would bet he would, I would be more accustomed to thinking he's dead. So he's what? He's older than the master. So he's what? 34? 35? So he's been training for 16 years plus? As a Hashra? I don't think Muzin's dead. That's the problem. He's going to be fucking beyond pissed, if anything. The only problem with me with his head coming off is we've seen upper demons lose their head and they're fucking perfectly fine. Upper six was two heads. Upper five was he, he had to be slashed into pieces. Upper four was it took many heads. He just kept cloning over and over until the... Final body had to be cut off the head. And those are the upper four, five, and six. There's still the upper three, two, one. Which means, if I'm thinking logically, it means the fucking Rengoku is probably close to killing Akaza. If he has the same techniques as the other upper. But that still means that Muzin, being the fucking supreme one, he his head coming off won't kill him. If anything, it would just piss him off. He has to have backup plans on backup plans. He's been looking for Nezuko for thousands of years. A thousand years or more. Ugh. Oh shit. So this battle will just consist from this point on. My guess is we're not seeing daytime. It's going to be one battle from here to the end. And it's going to be three movies that take place between this. Whatever the stopping point of this fucking episode is. To the end of the day. When they kill Muzin. I do like his fucking ball and chain attached to the axe, though. Fucking go my barbed wire. Holy fucking shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. It is fucking Demon Slayer weapon, so they would be able to help with blood. Oh, Senma is here. I would guess he would be the second closest. 
<laughs> They're all here. Tomioka, Mitsuru, Obanai, oh, Shinobu, Sanamai, Gyomai. <coughs> the only Hashira that isn't here is the former Hashira, which would be Tenjin. But here is fucking... <laughs> this has pissed off Muzin. Fuck. Who dies? One of these fucking it one or more Hashra is gonna die this in these fights. There's no way they all survive. They barely survive fighting four and five. And number six, they Tenjin lost an arm and eye. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. The Infinite Castle. Is he gonna drag every fucking... Demon Slayer in? <laughs> oh, fucking... Murata. Yeah, every Demon Slayer. Which would this be the perfect battle royale? Every demon, every Demon Slayer. One final matchup. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah, he would be excited. Oh wow, we finally saw her. She's been in the intro the entire time. I was wondering if we would see her before the end of the season. I can't think of her name. This is Nitsu. Holy shit, he's in the second mode. I like how it keeps doing destroy, like, we don't already know what that means. You underestimate the Demon Slayers. That's going to be your downfall, Muzin. You might have the army of all the demons, but you're not surviving this battle. I'm guessing if they destroy, if they find the demon who is making this realm, the Banjo Lady, then it's done. Everyone would go to the surface. Fuck. Well, that does set up the movies, at least. Ugh. That might be my favorite liquor yet. This is smooth as fuck. Admiral Nelson's premium spice rum.
There's seven minutes of fucking credits. I'm gonna have the timers keep ticking because I don't know if it's gonna be seven minutes or not. Okay, there's the ending song. That's not the ending song, that's the intro song. Yeah, that's the intro song. I mean, think about it, I don't think we got the intro song this time around. With the intro, they just went straight into all the fights. Which makes the most sense. Here's my biggest question, is how many lesser demons have they he made? Because technically he can't make upper demons that quickly. There's no way for him to do it. So you still have only upper 1, 2, and 3 would meet my guess. The fourth upper would be the banjo lady. The I, It's not banjo, I, but I'm calling banjo. I can't think of the an instrument, what it's called. And then he could make lesser demons 1 through 6 again, which could be fights. But still, you have... All the Demon Slayer core, all the demons in one place. Well, not all the Demon Slayer core because you're still missing former Demon Slayers. You probably only grabbed any Demon Slayer within the vicinity, which would count as Tenjin. I would think Tenjin and his fucking wives would be pulled in here too. But I wouldn't know because you would think if he's pulling in all the demon slayers from the area, Tenjin and the Whites would be counted. But I'm guessing they're probably not. Which means there's what? There's still uh, seven Hashras here. Three uppers. At least Tandro and two of the uh, uh, Hashras have unlocked their mark. If they can destroy the... I'm feeling the alcohol now. But uh, if they f destroy the female uh, demon that's been on Moose inside this entire time, I'm guessing the realm will fucking get everyone out of it. Because I'm guessing she's the one holding the realm together. At least that would be my guess, but it could be Muzin's realm. If anything, it would just make it so she couldn't teleport anyone and also make it so... She can't change the environments. But I would believe she would be the realm user. Since it's like she's always in there. So I figure she is the one. That has the realm. Let's see if there's anything extra. Nope it's just more. Well, all the Hashra are probably beyond piss. All the emotions have to be flaring. All the emotions have to be beyond flaring, which also would help with the uh, marks forming. I'm hoping we get a mark on every Hashra, or most of them. My only curiosity is who dies. Because, like I said, I don't think all Hashra are making it out of this. I see no way of them making all, all of them making it out of it. To be continued, I'm guessing. And we have one outro thing.
Huh. Wow. That's neat to know that. What? Fucking talking about Ryan Goku. <laughs> Sweet potato rice could actually be decent. Fuck it. What the fuck? They're breaking the fourth wall, but it makes sense. If this is the final episode, it makes sense they would break it now. That's the end of the episode. Oh. I think if there was less action there, I probably would have cried for the fucking master dying. I absolutely would have. Uh, I fucking, I'm on the break of tears anyways. The alcohol is not making it better. Uh, making it harder to contain them. I try not to contain them most of the time, but for stuff like this where I need to review, it's fucking hard. Oh, fucking this episode is 10 out of 10. I kind of figured because it's leading to the movies. I need to watch the ending. I need to watch the ending again. The ending where they're talk they talked about Mr... Mitsuru trained under Rengoku as his uh, trainee, which is insane to know. Because I thought he had no trainee, but to know that it's because how f much he worked. But also to know... I need to read Rengoku. I, fu I fucking spaced out when Rengoku started talking again. It fucking... It's always the afterthoughts that kill me. I didn't even see what he said. I wonder if that means Mis Misru has learned multiple training styles. <sighs> I 
It wouldn't be the 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 bad part is I can see them. I can see him them bringing up his ghosts. They've done it for countless things beforehand. So I can see them bring it up to in one of these fights to move them forward. Them doing that and then just having the master die is it screwed me over. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm definitely changing shirts shirts off. <laughs> Good. Oh. See, here's the thing. I always get attached to characters. I'm very easily attached to characters. It always happens. It always happens, no matter what. No matter what the situation, no matter how short or how long we have a character, I always get attached, no matter what. And some characters I get attached more than anything. I really was hoping he would survive till the end. I really was. But the closer and closer we got to the end of the series, I kind of figured the Master was not going to live it. And it didn't make it... If I could drop my feelings for the character, I would have tried to. But it's just something I can't drop. It's the same reason I try once I finish Muzin Train. I okay. What the hell? My CPU went to max. And it was at fifteen percent. That was weird. Whatever the case. Um, that's why when I watch Muzin Train. Let me get rid of this page. It could be just this page being open. Um, when I watched movies and trained all that time ago, um, I then watched the entirety of season two, what you want to call it, of the Entertainment District or season three. I think it's still count. It's telling that the later se section of season two because movies and trained got uh, produced into the first seven episodes of movies the second season. But I watched the second season like a, in a day or two because I wanted to watch more uh, the problem is once I feel his emotions and I cry I'm kind of emotionally exhausted for a time being so if anything else emotional happens it's very hard to for me to connect any of it um, so otherwise I would have absolutely cried my eyes out to the end of the season 2 season 2 is very emotional that's why when we went back to finish uh, the entertainment district I for between episodes uh, for reviews I came in and I talked about the episodes and reviewed them like add an extra review and I only did that for one part I will eventually go back and add extra reviews to the other episodes but there will be a section where I cry my eyes out because I can't watch through season two. I just, I, the last episode I can't watch through anymore. It destroys me every time. At least for the last two times I've tried again. Um, there's just so, certain things I can't watch. Otherwise, it, I will cry my eyes out. Um, this being one of them, it's more than likely it's going to be the case of every time I watch this ending. With them having Rangoku, Rangoku show up and talk there that destroys me more but having the master die in such a way why I wanted him to live even though I said I kind of figured he would die I yeah I kind of figured he died when we got closer but I still wanted him to live to the end that's what screwed me over the most is the wishing for the character to live when more than likely should have known he would should have been he would be dead by the end of the series um, that always destroys me from the inside out. Um, I drank alcohol this time around because this was the day I wanted to drink. And I wanted to be, I wanted to drink before this because, 
recording during it because I am recording more after this, but this was going to be the moment, if anything, if they killed off any character, this was probably, I knew I was going to cry. Because, if anything, the only character characters I probably wouldn't cry for is like Senema or Ubanai, Ubanai, or like, I think those two are the main ones. I think I would cry for any of the other Hashra if they died. I'm so attached to characters and it's so hard for me. I get attached so, so easily and it's just fucking crazy. Um, I know I don't show video. I don't show audio. I know people will not understand that, but that's fine. I, this is, I do this on the side. My main videos are supposed to be guides and, uh, guides and reviews and stuff. But, um, like I know this is not going to get a bunch of reviews. I don't care. Or get a bunch of views. I don't care for that. For the many, for the few people that make it this far, thank you. Um, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. It was fucking amazing. I can't believe we made it 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes of just talk between Muzin and Ubu Yashiki. Uh, Yashiki. Um, because I didn't think that would happen. I thought Muzin would just kill him. And no, they just kept talking. Enough time for Muzin to blow up the... Not Muzin. Uh, Uba Yashiki. To blow up the whole palace. And have all these traps put in place. To try back Muzin into a corner. And Muzin opens up the Infinity Castle to all Demon Slayers. So we have all Demon Slayers and all Demons within this realm. More than likely the three uppers are in there too. So the next three movies that are supposed to be finish off the series I can't wait to see what happens the only problem is I'm going to re be reviewing them like this at a computer I'm not reviewing them at a movie theater so I'm going to have to wait and I'm going to have to stay off Twitter and stay away from media for the time being because I'm not doing a movie theater <laughs> just so people can watch it with me if they wanted to pop it up um, I won't I won't do that I won't go to a movie theater that's also why certain movie reactions, my reaction will come out so much later than everyone else because I don't go to movie theaters for that. Unless you want just a review. But if I cry during it, I can't really, I can say I cried, but maybe you won't believe me. That's why I wait. And this one I knew was probably going to be bad. Like, it was going to make me cry because um, I. I, I heard rumors that this one was very emotional and and it was very impactful I couldn't even start recognizing how impactful the episode was like there is no point in me that could start imagining how impactful that was like nothing at all could do that to me um I'm just seeing something. One of my sources over here is. Something on me. On the Google. There it is. One of my Google sources was using all my CPU. And that's probably why it went up to 100 uh, CPU during it. My eyes feel dry. My emotions gone. I'm not my emotions gone because it's I can still record stuff. Like I want to record more bleach. I'm already recorded five episodes. I'm probably gonna do another five or I record four. I probably will record more. And there's other shows like Cowboy Beep Up and stuff. I'll probably record. I'm probably probably not Cowboy Beep Up because I'm guessing closer to the end of the series is gonna be emotional. Bleach, I'm probably guessing this won't be emotional stuff. Um, not until I'm back on to the regular arcs. Um, so, I think I'm good to pick up more of that. Um, if you're ever curious, um, most of the time I only pick up anime or manga when people recommend it or I see that I'm behind on a chapter or two. Um, or I think, oh my god, I haven't recorded a reaction or review for a series forever. And I start, I was so behind on Demon Slayer that I started saying I need to just come uh, because of work being so hectic. I really thought, 
oh, this is going to be the day I pick up episode 5 through 7. And it was. That was technically less than a, a week ago, I think. Almost a week ago, I think it was, uh, for that. And then right now, Sunday. Well, technically Monday morning. No, oh, it is Sunday morning. We covered the last episode of season 4 of Demon Slayer. Um, is it emotional? I can't watch the ending. There's no way. If I watch through it again, I'm going to start crying again. I'm at a point where I can talk about the episode. The episode, having the 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes of them talking about everything was great. But then having him blow up the, the palace with the two children and the wife. Maybe not even the two children. Maybe the children got away. Because I always thought there was more than two children because of how they showed them off. Maybe not. But still, um, doing that... To Muzin, surprising him, to then make him like more guessing on what is happening, and then him having the problem regenerating, but then to have the doctor use the the blood art, blood art of one of the one of the demons that Muzin created at the beginning of the series, to then pin Muzin. And then stealthily move her in and also Gyomai in. Also get more Gomai. Gyomai and the Master's backstory. Getting also the information that any person from the family doesn't make it past the age of 30. Which is insane. <coughs> but um, And then having the information that he should have been dead long ago. But it was his determination and everything to keep, defeat Moose and that actually made him like survive um you have all that and then you have them going by showing off that once beheaded Moose and still can't die so it's gonna be most likely the sun is the thing that kills him so my guess is the Infinity Castle is not Muzin's palace. I'm more than certain at this point that that's not Muzin's thing. Maybe half of it is and half of it isn't. But I'm guessing the the lady. I want to keep calling Banjo. It's not Banjo. But the lady there is the one that's making the... That's her realm. And she can shift and uh, change it at will. Like the demon... In season one, who had the bong, the bongos that could tra uh, change the layout of the the building he was in. I'm guessing she's the same way. Once she's defeated, then I'm guessing they all go to the surface. There will be a battle up there. My biggest guess is that is they'll fight on the surface long enough. The three movies will consist from the point we are now till dawn, where Muzin dies to the sunlight. To have three movies depend on length, even if it's up to two hours each movie, to then have six hours worth of content of just fights and action. There's still probably going to be funny and goofy parts because you have Inosuke in there that's going to go wild. You got Murata and his team. Murata's, I wouldn't say he's more ambitious than anything. He's more... Laid back. You also have Shinobu's trainee in there. You have all the Hashira. You maybe have Tenjin in them, but I didn't see them. So I'm guessing they did not get sucked in. Um, you have Zenitsu, which he's within his other self. His tranquility self, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you would call that That form. His second form. Um, you have all of them. Plus all the demons that Muzin's been taken in throughout the the last season. And then also the three uppers being... Actually, I have the three uppers written down. It is... Uh, upper three is Akaza. Upper two is Doma. And upper one is Kokushiba. Kokushibu. Which I'm guessing he's a former sun breather by everything from his design. The second one, I have no idea. Third one, Akaza. I'm guessing all of them will have some type of gimmick where the head, head being cut off won't kill them. Which just makes me think back to Muzin Train being that even if Akaza cut off Muzin's uh, 
cut, cut off Akaza's head, he would still wouldn't have won. That would be my guess. Um, but yeah, you have all three of them, plus Muzin, which, as far as we know, can only die by sunlight at this point, and the lady that's probably the controller of the infinite castle who had the four on her eye so she might be technically upper four now it wouldn't be too much of a shock that she could have been promoted to upper four because she's probably as old as Muzin so it wouldn't be a shock if she's now upper four since there's a spot now but there's like I said he can't make uppers as quickly as lower so there could be a lower six now too but are, any, you, are you ready for the next three movies? Yeah, it's going to be fucking crazy. Um, Like, I think it's going to be what? From the point where we end right now to dawn. Or a little bit after dawn, I guess. So, six hours. Up to six hours. It's, it's worth of movies. The, the, where the movies will be. <laughs> I saw... Uh, fuck, I saw a, a forum talking about hopefully they don't re- release these six to months to a year apart from each other because that oh, would oh, suck. It would suck, but it would make sense if they had Yeah, to. if they had to. Um, I wonder who's picking up the movies too. If it's gonna, I'm guessing it's probably going to be the same people who picked up Moose and Train. Probably. Would be my guess. I wonder if they'll... If, uh, it'd be real funny if they had three different movies, it's, all different studios. All different, yeah. They could... Oh, it'd be hard. It'd probably be hard to get them to. Get well, it to, depends on how many studios worked on this to begin with. If they had multiple studios training in this final season, then they could have done that. But, oh, three, three movie quality. Well, movie quality, I'm not even too. At this point, even regular basic anime, like fucking One Piece, is movie quality, and it's week after week. It's movie quality, but if it's a movie, hopefully they get. Proper funding. Yeah. Proper time. They they aren't treated like the Jujutsu Kaisen animators. I am so fucking drunk at this point. This is my third cup. I needed I needed a second cup. The mansion blew up and they were running towards it. I poured myself self a second cup. They were in the middle, middle of the fucking third fight. The fight there, where all rushing, and I poured myself a third cup. Technically, I think this is two and a half cups because I didn't finish the first cup. This fucking alcohol, the one I bought, it's fucking smooth. It's super smooth compared to the other ones. It's less alcohol content, uh, but I think like ten percent. So like the regular ones we usually have is forty five percent. This is 35, but it's fucking smooth. It's like, it beyond expectations. And it's cheaper than all of them. But it's another one that I saw. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. This is Emerald Nelson's. And it's probably my favorite so far. Eventually I'll have reviews for all of them. But, um, yeah, this was fucking insane. I just, you probably heard me over here, or maybe not. I cried my eyes out because I was so attached to the fucking master. Even though I knew he was going to die, I uh, still uh, cried. I how, how attached you are to him when he, he's had like two minutes. For yes, the it's the, the problem time. because I get attached so easily. That's why I, I, I would love to pick up Cyberpunk. But I know it's supposed to be a sad ending. I, it's like something I have to push down the road. I can't do it at this point. But maybe, eventually. Um, but I didn't also cry to that. They have a bonus scene, since you haven't seen the episode, where they talk about Rengoku at the very end. And Rengoku speaks to two of them at the very end there about continuing to fight, and that fucking set me off. Like, it wasn't just one thing. I was on the verge of tears from just the Master dying, and they fucking throw Rengoku at me. Talking to them. That fucking sent me off the edge. So the it, best part is I don't remember how the hell coming battles really play out. It's it's a forty minute episode, seven minutes of it, about five to six minutes of it was outro. Where they play the outro song first, then the intro song, and then they do the extra credits there. Where they first talk about Mitsuri 
the Love Hashra. They talk about her, and then they talk about how Mitsuri was apparently the apprentice under Rengoku. Rengoku's apprentice apparently was Mitsuri, because she was the only one that could handle his training. God, I would love to know how ridiculous Rengoku's training was. And apparently every time they made food, they would both eat everything that was made. So that happened, and then you have Rengoku there, off stage, not seen, say, you guys are fighting Muzin, I hope you guys win. Like, kind of, like, pushing them forward. And both of them are like, did we just hear that? And they fucking turned the camera sideways. Like, you can see the stage, and it's so fucking... Like, they broke the, the stage-type mentality. But it makes sense if this is the final episode. They're not gonna do this in the movies. I wonder if they're gonna take the movies and break them down into episodes, like they did with Moose and Train. Probably... Yeah, I would guess, but here's the thing. I'm not watching the movies in the theater. I'm going to watch them when they get... I'm hoping they're going to be day one upload to Crunchyroll or something. So I can watch them. Because I'm not going to a movie to watch them. But, yeah. This is an hour and ten minutes already. Fucking twenty minutes talking about a review. Yeah, I think... I'll end it here. It's a 10 out of 10. I'm going to pick up more Bleach after this. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing more Bleach. Because I know I'm not going to get emotional in Bleach. Because we're I'm in the fucking filler arc. If I'm going to get emotional, I'll probably be in the main arc. And they're going to fucking kill someone. Or do something fucking ridiculous. So I'm more happy. Pick, because I love Pick Up Cowboy Bebop. Or another show. But I'm more than certain since I'm getting close to Cowboy Bebop's end. It's going to get emotional here. Probably. And then... Space Cowboy, I doubt has... I don't know about Blood Blockade Battlefront Season 2. I'm close to the end of that, and I could see them doing something emotional like they did in the first season. So I think we'll end this here. I'm going to take a quick break to go to the bathroom, and then I'll come back and do more Bleach. It's going to be another fucking Bleach episode that I'm drunk doing. Partially drunk. Well, I, the last part, I was partially drunk for Bleach. This part, I'm drunk. There's no way around this. Okay. Demon Slayer Season 4, Episode 8, Final Episode. 10 out of 10. We talked a bunch there. About 20 minutes worth. Um, like I said, I really hope they they bring the movies day one to like Crunchyroll or something so I can watch them within like a week or something. Because even if it's day one Crunchyroll... That still doesn't mean it's fucking working. Crunchyroll never does that. Like, it, it's working day one with no problems. How long would I have to wait in English for that? I don't know. I would hope it would be, like, at the same time. Because they've done that for certain things with Crunchyroll. But, who knows. I think, well, technically, before I fully sign off here for this review and such. I did see Demon Slayer Season 4 English was on here. If you're curious, they've done the first two episodes in dubbed of season four out of the eight. Which means the dubbed won't be finished till. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. The dubbed won't be finished until like the end of August for the season. If they go one by week or one per week, they might do in batches though. Who knows? They, they change it constantly. Um, yeah, otherwise, 10 out of 10 for episode 8 of season 4. Um, if it wasn't, like I said, if it wasn't, I think I could have held back the tears if it, they didn't fucking throw Rengoku in there at the very end, like an extra thing. There's no, I could have held back tears. Him talking and encouraging the two of them forward and getting more backstory him fucking threw me off the edge. Um... Even though I get emotionally attached to characters so easily. Um, this is a long thing. This is going to be a nightmare to render. I'll probably wait until Monday, Tuesday to upload this. Because this is going to take probably 5 hours to render. 6 hours to render. And then the same amount of time to upload. But if you guys like video, like give a like. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel. To keep up a lot of content. Always this has been Miss Crazy. You can sign off. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully I'll see you guys next video. And peace. <laughs>